It can't be, but what is this power? Goku said, then received a massive blow in the stomach. Vegeta quickly attacks the entity with a super final flash, but Meliodas cuts him in half, appearing in front of the Saiyan and landing a blow in the stomach, making the prince draw blood. While Goku screaming, charges at a great speed and throws a kick, which the king stops with one hand, breaking Goku's leg. He would scream in pain, falling to the ground like Vegeta. How did they get those powers? Damn! Zeldris would get up and then would send an attack through the stomach of Meliodas. However, the king of everything would regenerate. What? Is he immortal? Vegeta, very angry, would use a technique to heal himself and also heal Goku's wounds, leaving Meliodas impressed. Damn, I was saving this for myself, but I'm going to have to go all out with my power. Vegeta, smiling, says, This is just the beginning. Suddenly, the Prince of the Saiyans would expel a power that overwhelmed the entire planet, then with a loud scream, would have passed to Super Saiyan Evolution Phase 2. It seems that they will go with all their strength, then so will I. The Dark Deity would be surrounded by a very great power, achieving and releasing his 100%. What's going on? In the distance, Goku had given a shout, activating the perfect Selfish Doctrine. So the three, very serious and very angry, would walk slowly towards Meliodas. This is going to be exciting, said the king of everything, when at that moment his eyes would change to a red color and his body would be surrounded by a power that surpassed all limits. Come to me! Zeldris in a millisecond appears behind him launching a super attack, while at the same time, Vegeta gathers a large amount of energy and power into his fist launching a blow at full power. Both attacks would be useless as Meliodas would disappear. Damn, where did he go? In the distance was Goku fighting with the king of everything. I'm interested in you. You're, You're the, the strongest. strongest. Meliodas prepares to attack the Saiyan, launching a powerful blow which Goku would harden his body, thus not affecting him. The attack Meliodas threw goes out and he's surprised. But what is that? Goku in an instant would accumulate all his ki to throw with one hand a ball of energy, which Meliodas would stop with a hard hit. However, the Saiyan with the other hand grabs Meliodas' head, sending him crashing to the ground, and then giving him a quick beating. Meliodas shoots out somewhat free and impressed. But what speed and strength he has! Meliodas would say without knowing that he was facing the king of everything of Multiverse 1. Zeldris and Vegeta were accumulating key to launch a gigantic combined attack to pulverize Meliodas. Kakarot, you better distract him, insect! On one side, Meliodas would get up somewhat angry and immediately throws a kick at Goku, which he would stop him with only one hand. But the blow was so powerful that it would break the arm of the Saiyan, crashing him to the ground. Damn it! Uh, he broke my arm! Goku said when the king of everything was already in front of him with a ball of energy in his face. Die already! Goku receives the devastating attack, being seriously injured. No, a little more. Just hold on a little longer. Goku would get up badly hurt. Meliodas looked on confident and with a smile. You are one of the strongest and toughest I have ever faced. That's why you will have the honor of a quick death. Goku, with a technique, cuts Meliodas' arm, but the king of everything regenerates instantly. Ah, uh, damn it! I just have to hold on a little longer! Meliodas would begin to counterattack, grabbing Goku's head and thus crashing it against some rocks, starting to hit him hard, strongly and torturing him. Goku's power was not even half of the king of everything of Multiverse 2. Minutes later, the Saiyan was on the verge of death. Goku tries to get up, but would be pierced by a sword. It's time for you to die! Meliodas was about to kill him, but behind him, Vegeta and Zeldris launched the most powerful attack that could exist. Meliodas was paralyzed, receiving the shocking attack, which would destroy half the planet. Vegeta and Zeldris fell exhausted to the ground because they used all of their energy. Good. Well done, Kakarot. Good thing I was able to hold on. 
said Goku, who was on the ground bleeding. On the one hand, Angelina, the second queen of everything, would be impressed, and Vegeta would quickly heal some of Goku's wounds. I knew we would do it. Well done, Vegeta. And now, what are we going to do with her? Said Goku, looking at Angelina, who was nervous. But what's wrong with her? Hey, what's wrong with you? They made the king of everything unleash his full power. What are you saying? At that, Zeldris would be cut in half. <gasps> You're giving me a lot of trouble, you bastards! Everyone would be impressed to see that Meliodas would have survived. Vegeta, very angry, tries to transform, but could not because he had spent all his energy. Zeldris would look at Goku and Vegeta, and then crash to the ground, bleeding. Both Saiyans immediately go to Zeldris, who was on the verge of death, cut in half. No! Resist! Zeldris! Take my blood and kill that wretch! Goku and Vegeta, with no other choice, would begin to drink the blood of Zeldris. Hmm, just what do you think you're doing? Said Meliodas, launching a gigantic ball of energy to pulverize Zeldris, while on one side were the two Saiyans clutching their heads. What's wrong with them? Goku and Vegeta began to scream in pain and fell to the ground in despair. Meliodas launches a super attack, but these two were covered by spheres. The eyes of both Saiyans would turn totally red, and their power would increase overwhelmingly, thus being surrounded by a divine aura. This is not possible! Where did they get all that power? It would be better if we left. You'd better not leave or I'll kill you too! Angelina looked on in fear. In that brightness, they would transcend. Goku and Vegeta appeared with their hair totally reddish like their eyes. The power that those two gave off Ugh, those two made all the universes tremble. These two were in a demonic state. Meliodas would try to move, but both Saiyans already had their hands on the back of the King of Everything, starting to hit him hard. The speed and strength that the two Saiyans possessed was incomparable. Both put their hand on the chest of Meliodas, giving him a great burst that would send the King of Everything to another planet. Meliodas was also enunciated, appearing in front of both of them very hurt. Impossible, damn you! This can't happen! Mr. Meliodas, it is better that we leave, or these guys will kill you. Their power is superior to yours. Of course not. I will kill them, even if I have to absorb you! Meliodas shouted, grabbing Angelina and starting to absorb all her power. Damn you! How dare you! Goku and Vegeta quickly try to finish the fight and eliminate the king, but when he absorbed all the power of Angelina, the queen of everything, he began to open portals and make all the dimensions tremble. Meliodas accumulated so much power that he began to scream and shine. Damn it! What's wrong? We have to get out of here! It looks like he's going to explode! Meliodas couldn't handle all this power, thus exploding completely, destroying the entire dimension while Vegeta and Goku would scream. Daishinken, get us out of here! At that, a portal would appear, then at full speed would enter, barely falling to the ground, totally transformed. That was a close call. If we had stayed, we would have surely died. Quick, Kakarot, now that we've managed to finish off the King of Multiverse 2, we should hurry and go get the Super Dragon Spheres from that multiverse. That means that you managed to finish off the King of Multiverse number two, but you haven't been able to complete the whole mission yet? When we complete the mission, we will tell you everything from beginning to end, Mr. Daishinken. But yes, that's right. We managed to finish the deity, and it exploded, causing a multiversal explosion, since so many universes were destroyed. This is good news. In this case, I will open the portal in the dimension of the Super Dragon Spheres to save you a lot of time and run less risk. If I did not open the portal in that place before, it is because the King of Multiverse 2, as soon as you had set foot in the dimension of the Super Dragon Spheres, would have detected you in a second and would have finished you in the blink of an eye. Without a doubt, it was the best option. I'll tell you all about it later, Daishinken. Why are we still talking, Insect? Let's not waste any more time and open the portal! At that moment, Daishinken would open again a portal through which Goku and Vegeta would go through, appearing in the dimension of the Super Dragon Balls. Once there, Goku and Vegeta would find a room in front of them. We have to open that door, Kakarot. Leave it to me. I'll take care of it. Goku opens the door and enters. However, the door would close again instantly. Goku would try to open it again, but when he couldn't, he would take a look at the strange room he was in. Oh, now what do I do? Huh, I feel a great evil energy in this room, and I also just realized that 
the gravity here is very high. I can barely walk. Goku would walk around looking at the room, where there would be a lot of debris and statues. What are those statues? Everything here is very strange. Well, anyways, I have to find a way out of here. Suddenly, in the distance, he would observe two statues. But these two statues were very different from the others, since they possessed a very different energy which Goku could not calculate. What could this be? Goku would touch the hand of the first statue, and everything would start to glow. What? What's going on? At that, a gigantic explosion would be created. Goku screaming would fly out totally ejected hitting a wall. Ugh, what was that? Goku said it very sore when in front of him someone would say, I'm very weak. Let me eat. Suddenly, the dark being would bite Goku's arm and he couldn't see the incredible speed of that entity. Goku's arm would start to draw a lot of blood. The Saiyan would scream in pain and the entity would be heard in the whole room. The entity would answer by saying, your blood, your blood is different from the millions of bloods I have tasted. Damn you, but who are you? Goku said, very wounded and bleeding. I am Drax. You don't need to know because you will die right away, you damned mortal. Although, I thank you for having freed me from this seal. But now that I am free, I'm going to eat you since your blood is unique. And the whole multiverse will be in danger.